We are now going to look at the OpenGL settings. Some SketchUp users might be affected by the type of graphics card that they have in their computer. If it is not 100% OpenGL compliant, you can experience funny graphical issues, like you might have a, uh, when you click on the pencil tool for example, you might have a white box covering it because it can't display the pencil properly, or let's say you're using the select tool and you're trying to select an object and it does funny graphical things like doesn't drag out smoothly. Um, this is generally because your graphics card is either not 100% compliant or is not powerful enough. One way to tell if your OpenGL is good or not is to go to Window, then Preferences, click on OpenGL and if you have the ability to use hardware acceleration that means that you actually have a separate graphics card or an OpenGL graphics card. Um, if you don't have that option that means that your graphics card is either shared with the motherboard which isn't ideal because it's usually uh, means that SketchUp runs a lot slower so it would be good to double check this, make sure that you can tick use hardware acceleration so you, your graphics card works better um, and in the previous uh, tutorial we were talking about use fast feedback um, I'd also recommend turning this off um, because it's just a rendering uh, state that SketchUp uses to show the model a little bit crisper uh, but you don't actually need it because it actually slows down the way you work with SketchUp and if we look at the use maximum texture size uh, this is if you were to bring in an image into SketchUp you would import it um, sometimes it might look a little bit blurry so just remember that you've got this button here use maximum texture size which will increase the quality of the image um, which is ideal for floor plans if you're tracing over those and it will make it much easier to see the image so this is available to turn on and off as you need it when you're working with your OpenGL settings.